My name is Roland Paardekoper and I'm an archaeologist from origin. I studied a PhD in Exeter on archaeological open air museums and I've been working in several of these countries in Europe with this kind of museums. And I'm one of the founders of, uh, of Exarch and uh, yeah, that, that's what I've been doing so far. The retail project is about documenting, digitizing and sharing of the stories of archaeological open air museums. And this stems from an idea which uh, Julia Heep and me, we had in a conversation a few years ago. And then Exarch, so the organization behind us, uh, thought this was a good idea to put this into a project application. We applied for that uh, with Brussels, with the EU. And then uh, when we got the project, uh, it's now our task to, uh, to administrate to the project to make sure everything happens the way it was promised and, and to coordinate it, to, to have the big overview, so to say, of what needs to happen when so we, we reach the results. And that, that may sound a bit boring, but it, it's, it's, for me it's important to help other museums, other people to enable them to do what, what, what is important for this project. A lot of these museums date back to the 80s and the 90s, uh, so we are slowly getting to the end of the generation who started these museums and we're getting to a, a new group of people who, who have to keep telling the stories uh, these museums are based upon. And if I look at the role of Exarch in the project, I mean, uh, for us, we, we have the helicopter view, so to say. Uh, we know a lot of these open air museums, about 125 of them are member of Exarch. And, and it's our task to keep sh make sure that this platform of information, so to say, where you can find all the retold information, remains available for uh, a long time coming. And uh, that a lot of these museums will know about uh, that here is where they can find uh, help in, in, in structuring their, their, their stories and structuring their, their information. This project was written in 2019 and, and we got uh, funding a year later from the European Union. So a lot of things happened since then and, and challenges are for example technical challenges that what we promised back in 2019 is now different with uh, different equipment, different software, some things are easier, some things have become much more complicated and also we are working with people. And, and that means that you can plan a lot of things and especially if you plan four years ahead then uh, four years later uh, with the same people uh, you're facing different challenges and you must make sure that everything you promised also happens but also that within the framework of such a project you can actually do different things maybe better than you uh, thought of uh, in 2019 so th that's that's a nice opportunity we have that with the given tools, let's say, of, of, uh, for, of the project, we can now do a bit different things than, than what we expected in 2019, so that's really nice. What I believe and hope with Retold is that we will be able to focus on these stories which our museums are telling. And it's not just our museums which are telling these stories, but story, stories are a very important part of, of what is brought in a lot of museums and a lot of cultural places. And I hope that uh, what we developed over the past years can be used by a lot of more museums and, and we will hope they will join us in, uh, in Retold also when the project is over in the next phase of the Retold uh, work.